thank you for joining me. So here in this video, I will be demonstrating my use of higher article design with my circuits, of course. So I have two circuits here on the screen. Here I have a 4 to 1 multiplexer, and off to the side I have full adder, many full adders actually, it's a cascading adder circuit. It's going to be a 4-bit adder circuit right off over here to the side. First I will demonstrate my multiplexer circuit though. So with the multiplexer, you can have many inputs, but you will only get one output, the output being the selected input, of course, that you choose to output. Let me show. My design is a little funky, but I did what I could. <laughs> so here's my multiplexer. Here's the internal structure of it. Two S switches with the knot gates and many branches off into the many AND gates at the end. Everything is going to be OR together to get you that one final output. Here are my truth tables. So since the internal structure is going to be the same thing, of course, as this, um, as the circuit, of course. So let me just demonstrate the truth table. So if S1 and S0 are both off, only A0 is going to output as true. So let me show that and prove it to you. Um, if I trigger A0, it's going to output as 1, of course. Trigger A1, it's going to output as 0. A2, output to 0. A3, output to 0. If S1 is 0 and S0 is 1, only output A1 will be triggered. So here we are. A0, well, output is 0. A1, output is true. A2, output is 0. A3, output is 0. Switch it around. If S1 is triggered, A0 is off. Only A2 will be triggered. And if both S switches are on, then only A3 will be triggered. Awesome. Okay, now let me show my cascading 4-bit full adder circuit. Whoops, save that for later. So here is the internal structure, of course. And now to test it, prove it. Prove that it works, of course. Let me just do some simple, some simple math. Um, let me do something extremely simple. So I'm going to do 1 plus 2. I will get 3. So, of course, it's from least significant to most significant bit. So I'm going to do A is going to be my one value. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. Trigger that. And I said 2. So my B is going to be represent 2. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0. You get 3. 3 in binary is going to be, well in this case, with all these outputs, it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, I'm going to do um, 4 plus 4. What will give me 8? So, 4 plus 4, 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. And there we are. 